Hello, I wanted to share with everyone some methods for developing odd time playing, particularly some of the more odd times, like 11-8, uh, 13-8, 15-8. So let's start with 11-8 because uh, a basic subdivision of 11-8 is symmetric, being 1-2, 1-2, 1-2, 3-1-2, 1-2. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2. That's basically what we're going to have. And uh, you can set up your metronome with that clave, with that basic subdivision. This one is called Tempo Advanced. So I have Tempo as well as Tempo Advanced. I think it's helpful to have both metronomes, perhaps on your phone, um, so you could toggle back and forth between them. So I'm going to start here with my Tempo at... 360 BPM, um, those are eighth notes. Sounds really fast, but those are eighths. And it's gonna be with that same one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two. Playing all of the beats of this basic clave. Then, instead of just kind of noodling around and trying to sort of feel these grooves, I think it's important to kind of systematically work your way into feeling them. So put on that groove and then just play a basic clave with the same beats as this. So just take a little minor pentatonic thing. So get comfortable with that. Play it. Just settle into it. Obviously, it's got that short, short, long, short, short. Daka, 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 da, daka, daka. By the way, this will be the same concept with drums. Start with a basic groove on the 11 8 clave, like this. the exact same figure I want you to switch over to another metronome this one is called tempo and essentially you're going to put it at half the amount of BPM 180 uh, but these are going to be quarter notes so it's the same tempo we're going to play the exact same figure that we just played before this 11 figure it's going to turn around every time so the click will be on what feels like the downbeat then it'll feel like the offbeat it'll feel like the downbeat uh, back. So it takes two cycles to get back to one. suggest doing that until you feel really comfortable with where that's laying. If you're not dragging or rushing, um, still should groove, still should feel nice, but you don't want to turn that around, so to speak. Uh, then I would go to half as many clicks. Well, I just muted uh, essentially beat two and four on this click here. It's going to sound like this. Exact same tempo, exact same figure. Um, and it's going to require four cycles of that figure to get back to one. that clave get comfortable with it turning around each time the first one feels pretty solid on the beat 
no problem. The second one feels a little wonky the way it's displaced if you're not used to playing this kind of thing. The third cycle, the click kind of sounds like a bad beat. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. It kind of sounds like that. So that can give you a little bit more of a sure footing. So again, that would be like... Like that. So, and, you know, a lot of jazz players are used to having one, two, a one, two, three, four. So that can help kind of center things a little bit. Okay, so now we're going to play basic scale with accents. So don't worry about um, the pattern of it. I'll, I'll explain more about that in a minute. Check it out. So now I'm going to go to three notes, first three notes of the scale, like for instance if I play it, anybody play that you probably think that needs to be automatic because we're going to tone with the 11 click like this. So doing this kind of thing helps you play, oh, we're going to play, help you play over the bar and help you play some of your 4-4 four, four phrases, pentatonic lines, things like that, patterns, uh, when you're playing over 11-8, 13-8, something like this, and still being aware of where you are in the bar, not getting lost. So now we're going to add another note. We'll do four notes. And so forth. Again, I caution you against trying to figure out what the pattern is there. In other words, okay, tongue the third note, then the second note, then the fifth note, then the root. It's not really about that. It's about just hearing that groove and having your fingers kind of be on autopilot, assuming you're able to play a decent scale. Uh, we can add another note now. <laughs> And then you can add the sixth and seventh and play a whole octave like that, uh, just accenting the downbeat here. Um, then the next thing we wanted to do is it's a basic improvisation, still landing on one. We're trying to really dial in this idea of the downbeat. If we can get that super wired, then when you're soloing over this, you don't need to play it. You won't play in a way where you're trying to scramble for the downbeat and you're trying to um, essentially keep your own place. So now we're going to improvise using just those last couple of beats playing into one. into the downbeat and get really solid with that, you will always feel that super solid when you're playing on it. Now we can do some triad pairs over the 11-8 and start to feel how they fall into the beat as well and try to not lose your place too. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
So you have one, one. <laughs> slow um, in 9-8, 11-8, 13-8, 15-8, 17-8, and, 17-8. and um, you could go to my website here and go to the contact page and I'll, I'll put a, a link up there to that. And hit me up if you have any questions about this. Um, Chris Wabich, the drummer, is check him out here. He is the person I learned all this from. He's fantastic. And um, check him out too. And um, here's a little bit of us playing a contrafactive, if I were a bell, that I call Bell Curve, it's on my last record, and it's a duet with me and Chris. It's in 15-8, in this case it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, or beat two, depending if you're talking about eights or uh, quarters. So it's So again, avoiding beat one usually sounds a lot better with this. So hope you enjoy this stuff and um, be well. Thank you. 
Thank you.